Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name's Rachel and this is Matt. And if you've previously watched the video of Matt doing my car, well, detailing my car, it'll be a familiar face. So Matt, introduce yourself, what you do, and all that good stuff. Hi guys, so my name's Matt, and welcome to Dark Horse Detailing. Um, we are the G-Technic accredited detailers for Merseyside. Uh, this is our Southport studio. We've got a studio over in Melling as well. And as Rach said, we did the Fiesta before few, Christmas. Yeah, a few yeah. months ago, it'll be a few videos back. And we're back again for some more uh, shiny goodness. <laughs> On the MX-5. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. It's pretty bad. It's it's tossed. Um, it's I've really seen bad. the car a few times. I've never really looked at the car. Properly. Especially under these lights, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be a busy couple of days. We've got the car for a couple of days. Um, plan of attack. Who knows? We're just going to see what happens. So we've got everything. I've got all my compounds I've, from super heavy. I've got really heavy cutting pads. We're just going to see what happens with it. Um, we'll get it as good as we can, and then we're going to put some G-Technic coatings on it. Probably going to put CSL, wheel armour, some glass coating, G1. Um, yeah, just go to town on it. But the, the real work's going to be in trying to do something with this beautiful green paintwork over the next couple of days. Beautiful. Beautiful. Tossed. Yeah. Right, so we're going to get the car outside now and get it all washed down. Um, give it a good rinse off, snow foam it, um, correct wash technique, but I don't know why we're bothering to be honest with you because it's absolutely ruined. But we're going to get it outside, give it a good wash down and uh, see where we are. Personally, I leave the wheels. The wheels are going to come off probably tomorrow to be cleaned and coated properly anyway. I'm always keen to get the car in, start doing a full decon and start polishing. So um, we're not going to bother with the wheels. We'll do that tomorrow. folks so we've done a wash brought the car in now um, I've done a sneaky little test patch on the back but first step is we're going to go around the whole thing with the clay bar make sure that um, surface of the paint works perfectly clean before we start the cutting process we don't want to pick up any contaminants and I don't think we would but make the paint any worse than it is already um, so we've done a little test patch on the boot um, just mainly to see where we were so obviously it, it doesn't do it justice but that's kind of like what we were and that's where we're going to there's still a lot more refining needs to be doing on this and the paint itself is just terrible however that is better than that so i'm going to uh, go around it now with the clay bar get the rest of it done we're going to start on the roof i think and then i can get the roof off and out of the way and then we can go to town on the rest of it wish me luck on a couple of cuts with the heavier compounds he's then going to move on to a lighter one so fingers crossed it looks okay so Matt's letting me loose with some clay bar and because let's be honest I can't do much worse than what it already is I'm going to wet the bottom with some lube and then I'm going to go ham with the clay bar So I've just spent a bit of time warming the dredge plate up because it needs to come off. So hopefully nothing comes off underneath. Hey. Ready? Now that can go in the front. Take two. So 
So the boys have been doing a heavier cut on the boot and the roof and stuff like that. Um, the roof's going to come off, but it does look so much better. Um, I've been clay barring, I've been working my wonders, and obviously the boys have been polishing up. So they're just moving on to the final cut now, and then, yeah, got to get the roof off and do the rest of the car. So the roof and the boot are done, the roof's going to come off. I'm going to move on to clay bar on the back and then the boy's going to polish up at the front. But have a look at this roof. Look how sick that looks compared to the bonnet. Besides the state of paintwork on this, it's going to look really good. What he said. So Matt's nearly finished cutting on the bonnet. There's just like that little hump in the bonnet to do. But it's looking good to be honest. Matt, Yo. on a scale of 1 to 10. Expert level clay bar on that. Expert level. <laughs> While I stuff my face, Matt's going to take the wheels off. Was that one hard back? So now it's time to get the car in the air. So Matt is just connecting the ramps to this little thing and then it's just going to go up. Right guys, so we've got the car up in the air at the moment. Um, as I said, when we wash it outside, we just want to get it in and start polishing, so we didn't do the wheels. Because the wheels are off, we're going to give them a good clean down now, get rid of all the contaminants, and then uh, get some coatings on them. So uh, off we go. Oh yeah, don't mind me just doing nothing. Actually, I've actually done something in this video rather than the last one. Clay barred the whole bloody car. So we're on day number two down at Dark Horse Detail with the MX-5. So Matt, what's the plan of action today? More polishing. So we had a good day yesterday, but it was slow progress. Um, we did the bonnet, wings, boot lid, the roof, a few other bits. Um, I come in a little bit early this morning and I've been down this side. So I've got the other side to do, front bumper, back bumper, loads of fiddly little bits and then we'll put some coats on it, I think. Yeah, but meanwhile, Danny's outside bloody washing the arch liners. I hope you're doing a good job. So we're just giving the arch liners a clean with some all-purpose, multi-purpose stuff. And then using a stiff brush, just going to agitate the multi-purpose cleaner. It's going to look fucking mint when it's done, you know. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the end product now and I'm happy. Say that again. Yeah. <laughs> So as I mentioned before, Danny was outside cleaning the arch liners. Now they're all clean, dry, ready to go back in. And then I will show you what it looks like. And to be honest, it's a vast improvement. But I mean, I could, you think you could have done a better job. <laughs> <laughs> right folks, so all the polishing's done now, we're onto the coatings. So the first coating we're going to apply while the wheels are already off is C5 wheel armour. So it's a two year high temp coating designed for your wheels, calipers and exhaust tips. And uh, yeah, let's crack on putting some of this on. Right guys, we've finished all the polishing now. Um, in reality, it could do with a full flat and polish, um, but we've not got time. I don't want to do that. And uh, it looks loads better than it did when it came in. So we've done a bit of a quick three step on it. We've really cut it heavy and then had to do a couple of refining steps, but we're ready to put coatings on. So we're going to go with G-Technics five year coating, crystal serum light. Um, we're gonna, we've done wheel armor. We're going to put some G1 on the glass and get it looking extra shiny and protected. So uh, yeah, let's crack on with it.
course with every good car is a good plate so we've got our plate supplied by more talk that's going to go on the back but we've got one for the front which is here so this is going to go in the window this is the mx5 we've just dragged it out and it looks looks gleaming so much better than what it did before <laughs> Um, so just for the guys, just give us a quick rundown of the products that you've used and what you thought about the lovely Jap ship box. Yeah, so it was a bit of a tough one. Um, obviously dragged it in, give it all a good clay bar, make sure all the contaminants were off the paintwork and then went to town with it. We hit it heavy with really heavy, aggressive compounds and then we had to do two refining steps over the top. It's not perfect, but I think that's the theme for this car is that it's, it's good when it's not perfect. It looks absolutely <laughs> banging out here. Um, we'll put Crystal Serum Light, which is G-Technics five-year coating, super glossy, dead slick, hydrophobic. Um, we'll put C5 on the wheels, G1 on the glass, bit of trim on the front splitter, and uh, I think it looks about as good as it's going to look, to be honest with you. I think it's made us fall in love with it even more. Even to me, to a degree. <sighs> That's a big statement, that, Matt. Yeah, I didn't really appreciate it until it came outside, and... I'm pretty happy with myself. What was it you said the, um, yesterday? It's one of them jobs where you wish you wouldn't have took on. Yeah, it, like genuinely, <laughs> if a customer had pulled up with this, I'd have turned the job away. It was that, it was that, that's how bad it was. Right, Matt, where can the guys find you? So we're on all social media. Um, we mainly use Instagram, but it's linked to Facebook. We've got studios in Melling, studios in Southport. Um, we are G-Technic credited for Merseyside. So anything from brand new car packages, which we're doing loads of at the moment, to Jeff ship boxes, full corrections on absolute <laughs> turds. Give us a bell. <laughs> we might not answer, but we might do. So uh, yeah, give us a call. We've got an open door policy at either place as well. So just rock up, have a brew, and uh, I'll probably bring your just, own milk though. Yeah, uh, yeah, black coffee, and I'll probably just slate whatever car we've got in. So uh, <laughs> happy days. It's cool for content, right? I'm happy with it. Matt's happy with it. Hopefully, you're happy with it. Let us know what you think in the comments and if you haven't already seen matt detail my car so the pink mark 8 st then go ahead and click the video i think it's this corner or that corner i'm not too sure um but yeah like the video subscribe for more and matt i'm sure we'll see you soon so. maybe with a new car <laughs> see you later Bye.